One of the enduring bits of good news about the COVID-19 pandemic is that unlike most viral illnesses where the youngest and oldest are among the most affected, thankfully children do not generally have the severe complications we see in adults. And new research may be closer to finding out why. Dr. Frank McGeorge is here to explain. Hi, Doc. Hey, Kim and Devin. Yeah, let me start out by making something clear. It is not that children don't get infected. They do, and they can spread it to other kids and adults. But compared to older adults, kids develop severe illness much less often. And examining why that's the case and why children's immune systems behave differently can give us a clue to how to beat it in adults. Why aren't most kids getting as sick from COVID-19? Well, a recent paper published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences identified several factors that could be responsible. First, younger kids have fewer ACE2 receptors. That's the area on a cell the coronavirus binds to. It's also possible kids have more recently had other coronavirus infections, the ones that cause the common cold, possibly leaving them with some cross protection. Kids with asthma and allergies also tend to have higher levels of cells called eosinophils. That may reduce their risk from COVID. Young immune systems may also get a jump start on the virus. A new study published in the journal Science Translational Medicine looked at the immune response to COVID-19 in 65 children and 65 adults. Researchers found children had evidence of a more active innate immune response. That's the part of the immune system that responds very quickly to an infection. Two substances called interleukin 17A and interferon gamma were especially higher in children compared to adults. On the other side, the study found adults show a more active response when it came to producing antibodies. The researchers suggested children may benefit from a more aggressive early response by their immune system, preventing COVID-19 from progressing the way it does in many adults. Now, finally, I want to acknowledge that some kids do develop severe disease. You shouldn't be left with the impression that kids don't die from COVID-19. There have, in fact, been six deaths in the 10 to 19 age group in Michigan. But that compares to 1,788 deaths in adults over between 70 and 79 and over 2,800 deaths in people over 80. So clearly, this does disproportionately affect older people. So, uh, Doc, what we're learning here then, what does it suggest about other potential treatments? Well, you know, if it turns out that the reason that children are less seriously affected is that they have a more active innate or early immune response, then figuring out how to stimulate that in adults uh -huh. could actually prove to be super important. Got to get, get us young again inside. That's exactly right. All right, Frank. <laughs>